Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So this particular video is about UPSC combined geoscientist exam and basically we are going to talk about the prelims exam. Okay, in the past video in the previous video where I have solved the, uh, the inorganic chemistry questions uh, like in that video I have got a lot of requests from you to explain you or to tell you that how you can prepare for the GS part. Okay, that means for the general studies part. So I thought to make a video, a separate video on that. Uh, just a quick uh, some of your some of the guides, uh, some of the points which I'm going to cover up over here in this video. I'm just going to tell you that how effectively you can prepare for the next few days for the general studies exam, right? Now, if you have not watched the previous video where I have solved the uh, the inorganic chemistry portion, you can watch that in the i button. I'll just post the link of that video. So all the inorganic questions has been solved, and organic and physical question are under process. They'll also be uploaded very soon. All right. The question paper. Many of you are asking me to get uh, like to from where to get the question paper. So all these question papers are available on the official UPSC website. I'll give you the link of that in the description of this video so you can download that. And the solved question paper. If you want the question paper with the answer marked in that, that I will upload with the subsequent videos. Okay. In the upcoming videos, when I will solve inorganic, when I will solve organic and physical chemistry questions. So there I will upload that uh, link for that, okay, for the solved questions. All right, so coming back to the topic, let's talk about that, how we can prepare for the general studies part of your UPSC exam, okay. So before going into that, uh, before going into that, how to prepare the exam, uh, let's talk about that, what actually is there in the GS part, okay, what are the things which will be asked in the GS part. So first, let's understand that what this GS part is. So your prelims exam, your pre-exam is actually divided into two papers. Uh, you will have paper one, okay, paper one, and you will have paper two. This is for those who don't know about it, okay. For there were many students who don't know, so for them this is okay. So in paper one, basically you are going to have the syllabus is for the GS part, that is for the general studies part, and the paper two is topic specific, that means for the chemistry, okay. Now, paper one is uh, going to be of 100 marks and it is of two hours, okay, 100 marks and two hours, whereas paper two is of 300 marks, okay, and also it is of two hours. So, this is how the exam has been decided, divided, the overall question or overall pre-exam is going to be of 400 marks, GS part is 100 marks, two hours, chemistry part is 300 marks and two hours. And... Uh, uh, that you can check out from the official notification as well. So if you see, this is basically uh, like I have just taken it from the notice, the the geoscientist notice. This is uh, the the page from that notice. You can see the general studies is of two hours, hundred marks, chemistry portion two hours, and three hundred marks total. Four hundred marks exam it will be. Okay, for the chemist or scientist B position. Now let's talk about that what is there in the syllabus, what are the topics actually, okay, then we will go that how to cover them. So if I just talk about the GS part, the general studies part, which is common for all the streams, these are the topics which are, which are highlighted, highlighted over here. The first point is current events, that means current affairs, that's what we call it, current events of national and international importance, history of India and the Indian national movement. Then Indian and world geography, physical, social, economic geography of India and the world. Indian polity and the governance. Here all the civics questions will be there like constitution, political system, panchayati raj, uh, public policy, right issues, etc. Okay, what are the fundamental rights and all. Then economics. In economics, you have social development, sustainable development, poverty, inclusion, demographics, social sector uh, initiatives, etc. Then you have general issues on the environmental ecology like biodiversity, climate change. So this comes from the science part or the environmental part. Okay, And then this, uh, it is given that they do not require subject specialization. So these are going to be just a general kind of questions. And then the general science, okay, the general science like class uh, 6th, 7th or up to class 8th science. So that this is the syllabus. This, seems, this syllabus seems to be very precise and very small. But actually, this is very vast, okay? When you start studying history of India, it's very vast, okay? Yeah, history of world, this is very vast. So, actually, for a chemistry student, okay, I'll be very frank over here. For a chemistry student, it's, it's very, very difficult to cover all these things if the person is not preparing for some UPSC exam. If you are preparing for UPSC exam, then it will be easier for you because you already might be studying for these things 
in uh, for your uh, like for the preparation of your upsc and the other prelims exam right but yeah if you are a chemistry student you are a research scholar or you are a, a like msc student and you are more into the csir net and gate exam then it becomes very difficult to cover all these things okay and believe me you cannot do that with books also that this requires a lot of studies okay a lot of things you have to study and it's very difficult so how we can approach towards these particular topics and what is the way uh, in the less time how we can approach or more of the things first of all let me tell you in the past uh, exam the previous exam which held uh, the cutoff for the gs part was around 30 marks out of 100 it's 25 to 30 marks was the cutoff for this so that means the previous time when the uh, when the pattern was changed for the first time uh, it was like 30 marks was enough but now this time i can see there are many students who have filled the form many of the students are going to prepare for the exam uh, like in an equal manner so that will make exam a little bit more competitive so just take 40 marks as the safe side okay just take that 40 marks at least 40 marks you have to get from this gs paper now out of this 40 marks 10 to 15 questions will be there or 10 to 15 marks uh, will be there like uh, that you can get without studying anything that just that just require your basic understanding of the question okay just by reading the question and understanding it and answering it so like general science questions and your general issue questions okay that will be based upon like uh, what are the what are the effects of climate change or like that okay there will be many kind of questions from this particular part and that require no specific knowledge just by applying your common sense you can answer those questions the rest of the topics like your history your current affairs how to cover that so for history and all i would suggest you to at least try to watch some of the videos which are there on an academy platform like a upsc uh, like there are free videos available for upsc prelims exam so for that you can watch those videos don't watch the whole complete like uh, classes and all because that will obviously take a lot of time you just go for the marathon classes okay you go for those uh, test series which they have directly go into that with the help of questions you will get to know more of the things because when an educator explains a question he explains related concepts also so you can go to an academy app and just go to uh, like uh, upsc prelims uh, sections and there you can get a uh, get the like test series and all free test series so that everybody can access okay so that is free for all so you can access that apart from that there are many other youtube channels okay i would like to mention some of them so you can go for wi-fi study there is a youtube channel named wi-fi study so in that channel also there are a lot of content related to this history of india current events okay so you can get that there's one more channel called as your study iq so you can watch that channel also okay there is a very that's a very good channel and there is a lot of things explained over there so try to watch those videos which actually a upsc aspirant follows okay so with that your uh, like your level of understanding will be more and for current affairs especially i would suggest you to read newspaper okay if you have uh, understanding or if you have a particular habit of reading newspaper it's good if you don't have just try to build it up for the next few days just uh, like half an hour uh, give it to your uh, like newspaper reading so in the morning with your breakfast or with your tea and all you can just read out the newspaper that will help you a lot to prepare for your current affairs also on youtube there are many videos you will you will just search it for current affairs so you will get like previous one month monthly wise current affairs are there so whole one month events are explained in that video or are covered in that video so in that case you will cover up these topics in much less time and in much effective way okay so this current affairs don't do it right now because obviously uh, you have one month for the exam like roughly more than a month around two months you have for the exam so that particular uh, time which you have that some more events will be there right so they will also be added because the past six month events are the questions are asked from the past six month event so watch this current affairs after 15th of january okay so like at the end of the january watch current affairs of month of january december november like that okay and like just by watching the video a lot of things will be there in your mind and the question will be just memory based okay you don't have to understand the things there you just have to mug up the things if it remains in your mind you'll be able to answer it in the exam okay so this is how what i have planned and what i am just going to suggest you for this particular part okay for history and all i just told you that you can follow an academy classes um an academy free classes which are available on the platform 
you can go to the unacademy app and you can go for the preliminary section of upsc and there you will get a lot of videos regarding that like history geography polity you will get over there economics you have to understand a little bit uh, there are a lot of terms over there okay like uh, inflation uh, what is inflation and all these things right so how does it affect the market and all so for that you need a little bit of understanding so economics is something which you have to understand rest of the things you have to just mug up okay so uh, yeah if you get time daily start preparing a little bit of it uh, many people are interested in knowing history many people are interested in understanding these things so if you are interested you will enjoy these things and with your interest itself you will build up the concept and if it will be asked in exam just on the based of your memory you can answer it so yeah rest of the things except current affairs you can start preparing from now itself for general science you don't have to do anything if you are a science student you can answer the questions like that okay like uh, if a light passes through the prism how many color it will spread into what is going to be the least wavelength what is going to be the highest wavelength why sky appears red so these types of things okay the general science like things so i think that a science student can easily answer so you don't have to uh, give some special attention to that what you should be more aware or mo what you should be more uh, concerned about is history polity geography and these things okay so try and develop those things read about these things and you don't have to follow any book as uh, as far as i can see okay so following book is going to take much time but following videos is going to help you to to understand these things very in, in a very less time now uh, expecting a video on gs from my side is not going to happen okay i'll be very clear over here gs videos i cannot make obviously i don't have knowledge of all these things to make video in a detailed manner over here so don't expect it from me uh, there are experts in this field so you can watch their classes all right yeah so i'll be very clear over here right so i just hope that this video was helpful to you or you guys understood that how to do preparation for the gs part and if everything goes well you all will be getting a good score and you all will be selected in the pre exam right so that's all from my side guys thank you so much for watching if you have to add if you have any other thought if you want to add that you can add that in the comment section below so if you are aware about some other youtube channel which provides quality content for gs particularly so you can drop the name of that channel in the comment sections below it will help the fellow aspirants to prepare for that and yeah that's all from my side so thank you so much for watching this video and if you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe to it if you are preparing for uh, this upsc geo scientist exam very soon i am going to upload the organic chemistry and physical chemistry solutions for that exam all right so stay tuned for that subscribe to the channel if you have not subscribed it yet and uh, like the video if you have liked it so thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.